Ik kan me niet stakken, kijk. Hier hoor. The lid is very heavy. Are you sitting on it? A vampire's family can be important. It can be a very big help. It feels like you are sitting on this, Guillermo. Guillermo is not always helpful. He can be inconsistent and human. Guillermo, are you hiding from me? Ha! And surprisingly snaky. Guillermo, I am about to disembark from my coffin. <coughs> He's no one to hold my hand. He likes to test my patience sometimes. He's like a kid. I got out of my coffee door to myself. Schiemo. Schiemo? Schiemo? Have you taken another day off? You shouldn't give them any days off. Shh. There's a vampire approaching your room. Ah! Mickey Guillermo. Yeah, just to show you how dumb you are. Oh, this just to show you yes, how dumb you are. there are over 5,000 Guillermos in the New York metropolitan area, including Mickey Guillermos, of which there are four. Can we maybe narrow it down a little bit? Yes, yes, of course we can. What else do we know about him besides his first name being Guillermo? The door's ringing, Eliza. You better go and answer it. You better go and answer it. You've got to go and answer the darn tootin' door. Stop doing darn that. Stop doing that. Come on, get talk at the door. I'm not your Mr. Belvedere now. I'll do it then. I wanted to do it. So what are you doing? Because he wants to nag you. Please. Oh, it has a hex on it. Gizmo is probably tested. Paul! Or, yeah. I don't even know how to open the door. There you go. Be gone. Come back. You will forget everything you have seen. Most importantly, the way we are both dressed. To the fancy room again. Well, who is it from? Get it open. Well? It is from the Nouveau Théâtre de Vampires. <laughs> and we have all been invited! <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yes! Yeah. The Novo Theatre de Vampires is a very, very big deal. They travel from Europe to the United States once every five years. And only the creme de la creme de la creams of Vampire Society is invited. This is the first year we have made the cut. Everyone who has seen it says it is magnificent. It is an old vampire cast and it is just the most beautiful, eerie, poignant, important, important work. Now I've heard there's a lot of nudity, and I mean a lot. And when I say a lot, I don't just mean a whiff of tip. I mean the full rack. Full boobs. I mean a whiff full of tip. Bonus. <laughs> full display. We're going to have so much fun. I am so g-damn excited to be going to the Vampire Theater. There's some genitalia on show there that would make a human go, what is that exactly? So, we shall be honored to attend. Mm. Wait. What are we thinking? We don't have any clothes! They're all soiled! We cannot go dressed like this! She's right. We can't go dressed like this. We'll be laughed out of the place. They're not going to let us in now! Stop, guys. Stop! Am I really gonna do this? Do what? Listen. There is a way to get your clothes back. Don't ask me how. You don't want to know. There's a good chance that I'm not even going to make it back alive. You mean you might be killed, Colin Robinson? We don't even have to Colin Robinson? Me neither, damn it. But if I do this kindness for you, can I ask for one in return? Anything. What is it? I'd really like to move out of my room in the basement. If you retrieve that clothes, you can move it to my room. 
Oh, no, 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 I don't want your room. I, I just want to move into that other room in the basement. Mm -hmm. Sounds fair. Really? Go ahead. Do it <laughs> now. Do it now. Do it now. No, no, no. I just want to move into our room in the basement. Give me fuck your fuck so You didn't have nothing to do that right now. cleaners anyway. I just didn't want to make it sound too easy for them, because you go once or twice, and then all of a sudden you're the right. first to dry I gotta make it super yeah, dramatic on my house to get your clothes back. <laughs> you go once or twice, and then now you're the dry cleaner. Now I'm the air <laughs> Listen, I don't know if I'll come back alive. Yeah. yeah so but it's I'll good do it. I have to get out of there. Amma. 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 My fridge broke today, so, but yeah, I have to get out of there. Never mind that I'm prone to being a vampire slayer. <laughs> I'm like killing vampires, killing, 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 but also wanting to be a vampire. I just had to think about that and also manage my everyday duties, which were falling at the wayside because I wasn't focused. <laughs> This is it. This is my life now. You know, I'm happy with that. I'm content. <sighs> She's happy that I'm all. It's good to be one. And I do miss them. So, uh, I'll be back. Okay, you have to in the mini fridge. I had a mini fridge. Well, actually, it's my friend Topher's, but you know, he's dead now. Ay, pobrecito. No, sorry, no, he was dead. Oh, I'll go get it. ¿Estás seguro? Sí, ma. Pero dónde está el refrigerador? Staten Island. Secret entrance. Very cool. So glad you could join us. I don't like our seats. You haven't seen them. I don't like seats. Get the idea. I don't Be like our seats. You don't even know what they are. Make sure you keep them on you at all times. We've waited 500 years for an invite to this, you know? We should have been to many more, but... This oh, camera crew is getting all oh, the oh, shit. Is... Breakfast oh, house here, thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, very nice oh, seat. Damn well, please. I guess I must be in the front row. No, you have to take with us. No, it's Bob Mucher from a commercial in the 80s. He was the Milwaukee Brewers announcer. A wonderful anecdote. We should be in and out, so it's not going to be weird. Hello? If it gets uncomfortable, I'll just give you a signal. Just an eyes from it. Hello? Oh! 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 Naja? Laszlo? Mask? Man, body's everywhere. Nandor? Holly Robinson? <clears throat> Where is everyone? Hello. Ah! You scared me. You scared easy. They knew you'd be back. Where is everyone? They went out. Ow, ow, where do they go? <laughs> to the theater. They're having a great life without you. The invitation is over there if you don't believe me. Very exclusive event. You could have a nouveau theater de Monty. That's French. Looks like a theater. Can you see that? There's a guy hanging. It's pretty clever. Jeez, the work on this is so. Is that. Does that look like a. It's the Vampire Council. Dark greetings of the night. <laughs> Only an idiot would go to something. This, this is clearly a trap. They, they, do they go to this? Uh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> no. I'm gonna die. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go. It's not it started already, so Good I'm gonna luck. go, okay? I don't know I'm gonna go. Gonna go. Shut up. Is that the kind of thing? <gasps> yes, it is. Good evening, Mikai. Mikai, I'm a man of total prick. He's nowhere near as funny as he thinks he is. Oh, <gasps> that is Maricella, mistress of the night. <laughs> More like Mary Chella, mistress of the shitty seats. <laughs> a lot of heavy hitters in the house tonight. Even from the energy vampire world. Todd Smith saw him naked once. Huh? It's Pamela. Pamela's here. It's Pamela. Don't embarrass her. It's Pamela. Pamela's here. <laughs> Pamela must be the chatty cat. <laughs> Is he down there chatty it? Hell 
you. We ain't getting up there with this camera. Good evening, citizens of the night. Kings and queens, princess of the night. Take him to the magic show. Vampires all. Yeah. Oh, 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 Tonight, our performance is different. Tonight is something a little bit special. We all know the reason that we are here. Well, most of us do. So without any further ado, Please make welcome our guests of honor. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Us. Hi, everyone. Hey! I recognize that man. He was at the Vampire Council. Yeah? Shit. There is but one crime to us vampires here. Is that what one crime that means death to any vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killing your own kind. Oh, what this shit? We never did that. Move, move. We never did that. With Baron Afanas, was four against one. Is it supposed to be us? No idea. They opened the door no, and rest through the side. Damn it. But what would that look like? A familiar attack? Something like this? <laughs> Yeah, it's much than this. Again, over the top. It's cute. Oh, oh, it's oh, 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 It's still the show. Oh, sorry. Are you out here just killing people? Oh. 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 Hey, get out here, get it. Bring your whole chest with their face. They put it in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get the fuck out of here. Damn, hey, Mo. Is there something you haven't been telling us? They killed all of them. My name's Guillermo de la Cruz. De la okay, what the fuck your name is? We have to pick up our laundry! Yes. <laughs> and then it just goes off! <laughs> Alright, that was the season 2 finale of what we do. Um, not as funny as the season 1 finale with the original Vampire uh, Collective, but you know, hey, this was still entertaining all the same with Guillermo coming through De La Cruz. Coming through, killing all the vampires, except for one. We know one got away for sure, so he'll let a tale the, the vampire council. And this is not going to be good going down now. The oblivious thing is all four of them didn't even realize what Guillermo was doing. Like, maybe they'll talk about it in season three, but, like, how did you not see him killing all your vampires? I mean, they didn't, because they were never there, remember? No, I mean, right now. And the only thing you could speak on was... No, they just saw it. They weren't even talking about it. They were just saying, because he was saying... Uh, yeah, they, they're gonna say the actual conversation about it, but yeah, they yeah. legitimately were like, oh, he out here you're killing all the vampires. Killing everybody. Okay, so yeah, that's yeah. saying all that for three. So where do we go from here? Um, uh, Guillermo's gonna be a badass out here on these streets and not a familiar. So the, the team might have to get new familiars, which would be funny if they do get some new people in there. So we'll see how it go, but hey, it was a good season though. Right here. Just w wish they would have finished a little bit more stronger. But I guess this is the way you finish it. So you can ramp it on up for season three. So can't wait to get back to it. Um, I love this episode so much. I loved... 
it's only a 20 something minute show and I feel like they do such a good job of like compacting so much content to where like it still feels very fast but it's impressive of how much they cover in this short period. Specifically we got the full on detail of what the house would look like without Guillermo doing that. That typically in other shows would have been a whole episode in of itself but they like they executed quickly they were like what are the bullet points? Dead bodies stink, fire, and we can't wash our clothes. Those are the four bullet points we're going to address, but it clearly shows the impact of Guillermo not being there and what that looks like, which I think is brilliant. So really, really great writing to be able to get all of that packed into an episode. I love the fact that Guillermo recognized from the invitation that it was a setup and none of them did. They like, it went straight over their heads. They didn't see it at all. And I absolutely loved how they reenacted everything we've had over the, this last season as far as Guillermo recognizing that, you know, he, I mean, he's out here killing vampires. Like, all of it. All of the little moments that the rest of the, the family, so to speak, haven't been privy to, haven't known about, outside of the Baron with the door opening, mm -hmm. which is the only one they spoke of because they knew he did that. Um, and that was an accident, but everything else, like, I completely forgot about the vampire family he slaughtered, like, totally forgot about that, so I loved how they did a quick recap in the reenactment, so, like, get us fully up to speed on everything that they were fully aware of, so, bringing the assassins in, I didn't know that was tied to the fact that they killed the Baron, so, like, They've been on this family for a minute, or on this unit for a minute, thinking they're out here killing vampires. They've yeah. been trying to take them out. So I thought that was just okay. really great to see that. And then Guillermo coming through, like, hard body action star, you know, pouring the, the holy water in their mouth. I thought it was epic. I loved it so much. And I like the fact that it was left on a cliff, cliffhanger with no resolution. I have no idea where they're going to go in season three because I'm like, I don't yeah. know what you do with this situation. Like, you just yeah. killed, like, so many important vampires. Also, <clears throat> the family doesn't know you're a vampire killer, so how's that going to play out? I, I I don't know, but I'm excited that that's where they left it, so we have to wait to jump into season three to figure it all out. Yeah. So I thought it was a great season. I'm really enjoying the show. I think it's really smart. Uh, and look forward to jumping into season three. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for What We Do in the Shadows, season two, episode number 10. And until next time.